The Olympics are coming. There's no one who doesn't know about it because the television never stops telling you that the Olympics are coming in Paris, France. It's already happened because there is always a kickoff to the Olympics. It is called the lighting of the Olympic torch. It is done in Olympia, Greece, where it all started. And that torch, depending on where the Olympics are, it can travel all over this world. On ship, by airplane, travels all over this world. The Olympic torch. The first Olympic torch was in 1936 when the Olympics were in Germany. And for political reasons, Adolf Hitler and his henchmen decided they would bring glory to Berlin by having an Olympic torch. It was lit in Olympia, Greece. It was carried by 3,300 runners or walkers. It covered 12 countries and it covered 1,800 miles, the Olympic torch. The one in France will just be in France. It'll go from Olympia, Greece to France and that's where it'll stay. All of the regions, all of the provinces of France, this Olympic torch will go through it. If France has territories that are outside of the country, it will be flowing to those territories and they will run the torch through that territory. And the people who are granted the honor of carrying that torch, and for some it's gonna cost them a ton of money, for the people who carry that torch, they remember it for a lifetime. There is a torch that you and I are given to carry and it's the torch of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's when the Spirit comes and Acts chapter one, verse eight, Jesus literally said, say in, in Jerusalem unto the power from on high comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, then you're gonna carry my torch. You guys, you disciples, you're gonna carry my torch. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the utter ends of the earth, you are going to carry my torch. And what is this torch? The torch is the promises that God has given us. Promises of everlasting life, the promise of forgiveness of sins, the promise 365 times, do not be afraid, I am with you. The promise 700 times, your sins are forgiven. You and I carry that torch, John 7, 38, streams of living water will enter you. They will ignite you. And from you, streams of living water will flow forth, touching whoever's life God puts in your path. You and I carry the torch, Acts 4.12. They tried to extinguish the torch. They said, the Sanhedrin, the people who executed Jesus, they said to Peter and John, stop talking about him, extinguish the torch or you're going to die. And in Acts 4.12, they said, we can't stop talking about him, for there is salvation in no other name under heaven given to men. You and I, no matter what age we are, whether we're in elementary school, high school, fraternity, sorority, college, job, metro train, neighborhood, country club, labor union, no matter where God has placed us, hospitals, LA fitness, no matter where God has placed us, you and I, have a task. We carry the torch of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Rick Warren said in one of his books, why does God leave us on this earth one second longer than we need to be here before he takes us to heaven? And then he said, so we can carry the torch of the gospel to the hungry, thirsty, naked, those in prison and those who are ill. Carry the torch, and I shall try and do the same by God's grace in his name. Amen.